What's good, y'all? What's going on? It's Corner Sports. Thank you. Not forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. Now, I did a video a couple weeks back on Story Jackson, former player of Liberty and Prairie View A&M. Now, in the comments, some of the people were saying that, man, there's better free agents to talk about. Like, who is Story Jackson? Well, for one, I'm a Cowboy fan, and he's undrafted rookie free agent for the Cowboys. So I'm going to talk about him. And so far, he's been a standout in minicamp. And there's another standout in mini minicamp, Marquise Bell, which to nobody's surprise if you paid attention to him in the SWAT conference in Florida a and &M. Now, I know 90% of the country don't know who these, who these players are but they're both shining and performing in minicamp, Dallas Cowboys minicamp. But if you paid attention to any HBCU football, you would know who Marquise Bell is. He's been performing at a high level for years now. <laughs> Power five experience at Maryland, then he transferred to Florida A&M and, and got his head right, got focus. Comes from a rough situation in South Jersey, New Jersey, Bridgerton. He made the play of the day yesterday. He had a 98 yard interception return up at the Cowboys minicamp yesterday, minicamp practice. So he's shining, but Mike McCarthy's raving about him, but then again, why you didn't draft him? You gave him $207,000 guaranteed. So he's gonna make it to at least the practice squad. At least the practice squad. He got $15,000 bonus and a total of $207,000 guaranteed. Ensuring that he's gonna be on the Cowboys team in 2022 in some kind of fashion. Active roster or on a practice squad where they could call them up whenever they want or another team can sign them off the practice squad. Now it was real early and I know Marquise, he got a lot, of, a lot of competition to make the final roster, but so far so good. Story Jackson, if he makes the final roster, will be initially on special teams. He's been standing out and showing out in many camp and OTAs because of what he's been doing on special teams. No wasted movements, not thinking too much, just reacting, making the right plays. He also got a nice bonus for guarantee money from the Cowboys to stick around. I know it's early, I ain't get too excited, but so far so good. Talk to these guys later, it's Corner Sports Network.